Hello, new subscribers who, it's just a few titles that I mentioned narcissism and some of my material does get condensed into just that subject matter, maybe, especially lately. Um, as I don't know if you know, there's just a bigger thing than us that we're a part of, which, you know, we have a grand effect living inside of God's mind here. And um, uh, so, you know, if he has a headache, um, we're going to know it. Some of us might get a headache, too. <laughs> but anyway, um, talking about that, if you want to make a narcissist's eye roll into the back of your head, of, of their head, um, well, talk about God, say some simple quotes that maybe somebody else said that is just a matter of fact, you know, like actions speak louder than words or something by Lao Tzu or something that they are kind of allergic to that kind of stuff, you know. What else? Uh, talking about narcissists, genuinely, you know, they're, they're poor things, you know, I really don't care for the subject matter, um, first of all, uh, you should be more forgiving and, and know the essence of what we're here to do is to pull each other up out of that possible illness, which is definitely 100%. If you want to become part of just start quitting the, quitting the problem, I was going to say quitting the mind, cold turkey. You treat it as being the problem, number one, the root of all problems. You can say it's the root of all evil, too, for sure. No, money doesn't do anything, neither do guns or drugs. Look for what's behind it, and giving it its legs, you know. Um... Getting back to, yeah, if you want to take part in untangling the mess, if even your life, but really once you do it for yourself, you will start to be able to just influence people around you if you've genuinely conquered your mind and, and you're not confused by that, first of all, it's a, first uh, it's a false information field, so you can easily become confused by that, right? It's just as good as a hologram, right? I mean, boy, there's a lot that's going on. I don't want to get into it, but awareness is key. You know, awareness would say, yes, there's tons of different things. The mind, the brain, if you call it the brain, or the mind. Which one? We don't even know where the mind is. And then we look at the brain, it's like, yep, we certainly don't know where it is now. What do we even say when we say the mind? When we, when we mention the mind? It sure does have a lot to do with talk, 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 talking, doesn't it? Yes, um, you know, that's a talking. In fact, words are a false information field. Getting back to false information fields, you know, something that we, we, we really should not be taking so seriously. There is an exception to... So the the rule of the um, I was going to say the abracadabra, but no. I, I am saying um, now, getting back into this figure of speech, speaking into existence, speaking into existence, speaking into existence, speaking into existence. It means you're aligning your words to the truth and reality. However, that a poet may have done that already for us, which there are many that have written things that when you read it, uh, if you're any kind of a healthy mind there, I mean, come on, you give yourself a little bit of space there to think about what has been said based in, now really, you have to imagine, you really do, you have to use your imagination. 
hopefully by then, you know, when you when you read something like Khalil Gibran or something by Thaddeus Goles, uh, Lazy Man's Guide to Enlightenment. Thaddeus Goles is a really good author, a little pamphlet, Lazy Man's Guide to Enlightenment. Or even if you can find the pamphlet that Jesus would release upon the population. It's just the Holy Gospel, really good news about love and just a small pamphlet about some things. <laughs> anyway, cut back on the, the babble. is very important um, because of the false information field problem getting back to how it doesn't matter it doesn't see the matters are already here if we're talking about matter being just the truth okay two t's inside the word matter is interesting there's the m that you know m points at matter or men mental maybe I didn't just say, uh, you know, it's all the mind, but with the capital M, now I went back and I will say, what I did say is the mind of God is existential reality. Um, it's important to graduate your awareness into that um, because in fact, that and awareness is one as existential reality. Here it is. If you're watching it, me trying to hack up these words in the strangest way, by the way, there's a simple way to give you the equation that will unlock um, the mystery that is your very um, um, enlightenment, you know, a, a real life master or Buddhist is not going to, to just say there it is and hand it right over we need to first of all point the way in, in in such a strange way that eventually you're going to finally just want to intercept the whole conversation and we could all, we we start saying yay they're starting to get it they're getting it on their own yes on their own and thank god we didn't have to get a, a stick out onto you and beat you a bit i am just kidding what i really meant is a, a gong you want a gong in the background, see, this is one of the things I don't have, and why I don't have it. Uh, I have a bell. I do ring it to, to, to let the neighbors know that they are there. It's been tough lately. I've receded the my my most recent spiritual. I have spiritual guides that I'm in tune with. Um, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm battling toxins from the neighbors just spewing it out right and left they do it you know and even i right you know i'm using some kind of laundry detergent it's like oh my god this is so hazardous for everybody Whew. watch out what you eat uh, you know and then uh really not not imagining this stuff babes we're, we're going by how we feel and when you see three day three consecutive days of the most awful chemtrails going on first of all when when you see it every day on that day you wonder oh no it's no wonder why you feel so weird different things is exacerbating you feel like you have a helmet on and and it, it, it's like a, it's weird all of a sudden you just turned into a a mollusk or something and you're walking sideways down the road and it's and it's continual days like that you're like ooh, that's gross and then um yeah does anybody notice it it changes the light lighting it makes the sun kind of silvery but sometimes you can see it this looks like like particulate matter um the air has smoke in it and then it's filtering the sun and it's like but it's a chemtrail and it's just disgusting i think all of humanity sh should just be sitting down um, women should cuss profusely whenever they see it there should be just a profuse cussing and so that men in case they don't like it they could figure, they could try and stop it uh, they should w w women should just stop having sex it's the only way to turn everything around everything anything and everything just if you want something to be done 
in the world, women should withhold sex. Then men will say, well, what is happening? And say, well, you're not doing this or do this certain thing. They'll go do it in three days, get it done. Chemtrails be knocked out if women just withheld sex and said, you don't stop that over there. You're never going to have sex ever again. Fuck, it would be hardly a week and it would be, man, the war would clear up. And then finally the leaders have stepped up and took care of business and perhaps a, a, an actual civilization will emerge.